Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel, Jam Vibes. The whole Senzo Meiwa case today in court was actually very disturbing to watch as Ntokoze Setuala revealed so much. In today's video, he finally reveals where he was hiding all through when Senzo Meiwa's life was definitely claimed through a bullet. Guys, make sure to watch this video right up to the end because I have so much details for you. Before I do so, kindly subscribe to my channel please, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. The ongoing trial of the tragic claiming of life case of Senzo Meiwa has taken a significant turn with a new witness testifying at the Pretoria High Court. The witness's account sheds light on the events that unfolded on that fateful day providing vital information that could definitely help secure justice for Meiwa and his family. According to Tokozi Sitswala, on the night of the incident, he was present at the Kumalo's home in Vosluros. He said he ran out of the house after he heard a gunshot. As panic engulfed the scene, the witness recounted how, when he returned to the house, he found Meiwa in a critical condition, gasping for air. The immediate response was to offer aid, and upon examining him, he discovered that the former footballer had sustained a gunshot wound to his chest. In a valiant effort to help Meiwa, the witness removed his shirt, attempting to control the bleeding and provide any assistance possible before medical help arrived. The trial has attracted widespread attention in South Africa, where emotions run high due to Senzo Meiwa's status as a beloved national figure and the injustices surrounding his death. With five accused individuals standing trial, the stakes are high for the South African justice system to ensure a fair and thorough investigation to bring those responsible to account. Also, he revealed that on his running, of course, he jumped off a wall and went to a nearby neighbor's house. But what actually shocks me is that this particular neighbor in question was in court the other day and literally didn't say much about Tokozi Sitwala coming up to the house. And of course, you know, that's before Senzo was shot, right? That Tokozi Sitwala came to the house and of course was looking for refuge. But even if he actually went there at the end of the day, guys, you all think about it. What did he do while he was there? Because sometimes I keep feeling so bad about all what is ongoing in this census case. You cannot succeed to free yourself and you know that your friends, family, children are actually in the house where literally there are intruders allegedly. But what happens? These intruders who are armed, you decided to flee off and you don't even think of calling a police or screaming your lungs out so that other neighbors will come assist the Kumalos in their house. More to this, Longretwala as well is one of the people that I keep questioning on a daily basis. He succeeded to push through the, 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 the intruders who were armed. Then nobody actually got at him. Then for him to go out there and try to scream for help or call the police, he decides to go and go to a place we don't know. So Dukosi Sitwala actually revealed that all through, he was actually protecting himself in a closed-door neighbor's place and uh, all through the time, he was there shivering and so scared about the unknown. The moment he actually hears a scream, that's when he actually gets back into the Kumalo's home state where he meets Ukeri Kumalo's mother who reveals to him, who, who actually, you know, is so pained and he gets into the house and he sees his friend on the floor, discovering that the friend actually procured a shot and, I mean, blood was oozing out so much, so he decided to take his towel to actually protect that place. Guys, so much, it's... It's, it's, I keep wondering, guys. I just keep wondering. And <laughs> it's so funny. But then again, I don't want to be judgmental about this particular situation. And I want you all to give me your own point of view and your ideas about what you think. Like, do you really believe in all what Ndukozi Sitwala is saying? Or, just like some people, do you believe it is all staged? It is all a lie. Apparently, we are living in a movie. I love you all. And I'm going to be replying to each and every of your messages. Do well to take appropriate care of yourself.